Hi everyone, I am Samiha Dargia from Kampala, Uganda and welcome back to my channel. Today we will create a fun and interesting catch game in Scratch and I'll post the link in the description. If you haven't yet subscribed to my channel, please do. Let's get started. Let's delete the default sprite and choose any backdrop. I'm choosing the blue sky and I'm going to choose a sprite as a bowl. Now basically what we want to do is we want to be able to control the bowl by pressing the right and left arrow keys. And we'll do that by this block, change x by 10. So notice what happens when I press it, it moves towards the right. Now let's touch with negative 10. It moves towards the left. So what I'm going to do is from control, I'm going to get an if then condition. And from sensing, I'm going to get this key space pressed. So when the key left arrow is pressed, we want it to move negative 10. And I'm just going to right click, duplicate, put right arrow and change X by 10. We're going to put all of this in a forever loop and um, when the green flag clicked. So let's test it. Great, now we have our bowl's movement. Now let's move to the second step. So I'm going to choose a sprite egg. You can choose any. I'm just going to make it a little bit small. And from costumes, we're just going to use the first two costumes. And now from motion, I'm going to get this go to random position. So what this block does, it just chooses a random position. But we want it to say, stay at the top, which the Y will be 180. So for that, I'm going to get the set Y to 180. Notice what happens when I click it, it goes to a random position at the top. I'm just going to put a one green flag clicked. And now we're going to get this block change Y by and I'm going to put negative 5. I'm going to put it in a forever loop and notice what happens. It continuously changes Y by negative 5 so it falls down. I'm going to put another one green flag clicked. Now when two scripts start with the same header block, they execute at the same time. Okay, so when the egg is on the ground level, we'll switch the costume to the next one and um, choose another random position on top and make it start falling again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to control and get the if then condition. And from operators, we're going to get this less than. So we're going to check if the y position is less than negative 150. Uh, then what we'll do is we'll switch costume to egg B. We're going to wait 0 0.2 seconds, a very short amount of time. And we'll switch it back to egg A, which is the original costume. And we, and at the starting, we'll make sure it is egg A. I'm just going to duplicate the code and put it inside the if condition. And put it inside the forever loop. Now we're repeating this same piece of code. What we can do is we can put it in a custom block. So I'm going to go to the my block section, make a block, and we're going to name it start position. Now when I've clicked OK, notice this define start position block comes. So I'm just going to get this code, put it under and delete the one green flag clicked. I'm going to delete this code as well. And we have our custom block, so I'm just going to put it inside the if condition and before the forever loop. Now let's test. Now when we catch the egg, it still breaks. So we can fix that by getting a when, getting an if then condition. And from sensing, we're going to check if it's touching the ball. Then if it's touching the ball, I'm just going to get a sound called collect. So if touching ball, then we're going to start sound collect. And from my blocks, we're going to run the code in start position. We're going to do this forever and another one green flag clicked header block. Now let's test our game. Okay, let's try to catch it. Great, it is working fine. Now let's put score. So we're going to make a variable and name it score. For all sprites, make sure it's visible on your screen. And when green flag clicked, I'm going to set score to zero. 
And before we start the sound collect, I'm going to change score by 1. Now let's test our game. Great, our score is increasing. Great, our game works fine. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it. Please subscribe to my channel. Press the like button. If you have any suggestions, please leave them in the comment section down below. And follow me on my Insta at Samia Until next time, learn, code, and share. Bye-bye.